Hello, we're here with my, uh, Mark Fulmer, Vice President of Security at Tractic. Uh, nice to have you uh, here. How are you doing? I'm great, Tom. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the chat today. Yeah, no, my pleasure. These interesting times give us uh, more opportunities for chats like these. Um, I, I'm interested to hear your take uh, on what's going on at the moment in the corporate security world. Um, and of course, as Tractic, you know, from a technology perspective, uh, I, I wanted to then explore what you think is going to happen uh, to the corporate security technology of the future. Yeah, great, uh, great question. And and as you said, it's definitely an interesting time and opportunities to uh, to connect face to face. Of course, are limited, but platforms such as these are uh, are definitely uh, are definitely present. And and uh, thanks for taking the opportunity. Thanks for having me on uh, on for the chat. I um, what I can say is um, I, I'm impressed from the corporate security folks that I've been speaking with. Uh, from the different uh, security professionals that are out there, I'm, I'm impressed. I mean, I'm impressed at their ability to pivot from, you know, <coughs> excuse me, planning, prevention, uh, and so on, and, and and security management to, you know, rolling up the sleeves and reacting, right? I mean, uh, situation rolls in, a crisis rolls in, and all those plans are essentially uh, essentially put to the test. Um, you know, we, we've seen different things, you know, people referring to it as COVID crime or COVID type crime. It gets displaced. Uh, but uh, crime is still going on. You know, corporations still have assets. They still need to be protected. So uh, that's, uh, that's been the adjustment, I think, for a lot of the corporate security folks. And I mean, for us as a software company, we, we build cloud-based software to help uh, corporate security teams have better visibility on uh, incident reporting, on where incidents are happening, um, but also uh, security service providers to be more uh, efficient in how they deploy resources, and where they're being uh, they're being sent out. So mm. maybe uh, maybe pre-pandemic it was uh, convenient or practical to have you know a security officer at a, at, you know at a single site. Well, now today because resources are a little bit tighter, people are being re reassigned elsewhere to other essential type uh, type locations. You need to actually have shared services. You need to actually share someone uh, across multiple sites. So being able to do that. Um, and not being helped by software, I think, is uh, is uh, is definitely very uh, very difficult. So, do you think this is going to change <coughs> if, um, let's say, corporate security professionals who haven't been guarding critical facilities are now encouraged to guard critical facilities? How, how do you how do you think that will change things for technology? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that every every corporate security team is identifying its uh, its critical assets and and what they need to defend um, regularly. It's sort of the you know kind of the baseline uh, discrete line on the on the job description, so that's what they need to do. And 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 like I said, I think how they're doing it is probably uh, is is the part that's changing. I would say is changing the most. Um, if you think about um, uh, again, having a security officer, you know, standing in front of every single, you know, food shop or every single grocery store or every single pharmacy, that wasn't the case, you know, a month ago in, in the UK, in the US, in Canada. You know, today, you know, we're encouraged, as you know, uh, to go out and do groceries sort of once a week. And, and we're, we're, we're getting used to uh, coming across, you know, the security officer and then following the instructions, answering the questions and, uh, and so on. Um, and you know what, it's been, I've been impressed, you know, we talked about the corporate security folks, but also those frontline security workers mm. who have continued, you know, in the face of potentially, you know, dangerous or unhealthy situations continue to, to, uh, to deliver the, uh, the work. So, uh, that part's been, uh, been impressive and, and in general, the security service providers, uh, depending on the sectors that they were in before have also stepped to, up, stepped up to the challenge. Some have, have pivoted in how they offer work. Uh, some have, uh, you know, completely banded together with other security service providers to subcontract maybe their, you know, their work. If they're in an event sector, for example, they've, you know, gone and, and done, uh, done something. Uh, something else. Um, I mean, our, our focus at Tractic, we are, as I said, uh, a, a software company. We build cloud software. So for us to start working from home, as it were, um, you know, we, we started March, March 13th. So it's been, uh, I guess it's going on a month now. Um, and we were able to, to flip the switch relatively easily. Uh, we're, we have three offices around the world and, you know, the UK, Netherlands and, and Montreal. Our head office in Montreal has about 150 people in it, and literally from a decision on the Thursday afternoon to people working from home starting the next day on the Friday the 13th, 
um, 75% of the people were already working from home. And then by the Monday was 99% of the people were working from home. So um, we consider ourselves lucky to be able to do that, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, corporate security people, uh, frontline security people don't necessarily have that, uh, that freedom and that luxury. But the part that's that's changed, and uh, sorry, I'll, I'll get to the answer to the yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think the part that's really changing is the security service providers are now looking at, hey, some of the stuff I'm doing in an office, some of this stuff, whether that's uh, supervision, whether that's uh, assigning security officers to site, health checks, uh, following up on, on you know, people not showing up to work, interacting with clients, a lot of that with the proper setup uh, can actually be done remotely. Right. And uh, I, I've heard I've assisted in a couple of seminars and webinars of of um, uh, different, you know, in different different regions and in certain sectors, uh, supervisors weren't allowed to access sites. The guards were, but the supervisors weren't. Well, then the provider was, hey, you know, how do I ensure that my guards are actually doing what they're supposed to be doing? Well, you know, with applications such as Tractic, of course, you can do, you know, remote surveillance of your staff. You can interact with you can send out push out messages across the message board. You can update post orders. So the security officer on site really does have the latest, uh, latest information. And that flexibility, I think, is something that's going to stick around um, post pandemic. You know, we're going to go up and down a few waves from, from everything that I'm reading. And, and I think that once we, once we get through it, and we will, um, I think it's going to stick around. Uh, some of those changes will stick around as we go through. So do you, do you think we're going to bring in lots of zone uh, dr uh, drone footage and um, CCTV footage and it'll be, yeah. it'll be one big sock of the future, uh, <laughs> some, some, something like that? You know what, I, I think that uh, resource deployment will be much better. Uh, than it is now, so much more efficient. Uh, yeah, there there are some really you know uh, neat uh, sort of you know technology gadget and so on that that's, uh, that are out there now or perceived as gadgets today. Uh, whether that be drones, as you mentioned, whether those be robots, um, I think the key point really is let's use the technology for the uh, over and over, over and over detection, those regular actions, kind of looking for that needle in the haystack, and then let's use the human resource really for that. Uh, uh, judgment call that you know the the one-off the real interaction of uh, working with somebody so I think that's those are really gonna be the two points and if you think about the technology that's out there uh, drones have already been put to great use I think in, in different environments uh, as have robots they're very situation uh, specific and situation uh, uh, situational in terms of their uh, their application um, but let's also think of the current event technology that's very accessible today right uh, software as a service cloud cloud-based um, and then you touched on before the SOC, the Security Operations Center, remote video monitoring has existed for the last, I don't know, 15, 20 years. Mm. Um, it's, it's something that I think will become more prevalent and again will be optimized uh, as, we, uh, as we go through. So I think a real mix of, of better deployed human resources and, uh, and a better adoption of technology. Fantastic. Um, well, we, we certainly want to cover those themes in, in, our, in our events and uh... Sock of the future, I think, is yeah. very much on the cards. Um, are you going to go back to physical offices? Uh, what, what's, what's, what's next for Tractic? So uh, right now, we don't exactly know. I know that the, uh, sorry, my son is dropping by here. Uh, of course, working from home. Um, just give me a sec, yeah, buddy. The, uh, right now, we've got at least a month uh, that we have to uh, be, or uh, that we continue working from home. Schools, uh, as you can see, evidence from uh, my friend behind me, um, are out at least until I think they've said uh, mid-May and maybe even later. Um, there is, you know, there's something about human contact. There's something about teamwork. There's something about brainstorming face-to-face, -face, sitting there and, and, and working. Um, in terms of a physical office, I think it'll be... Uh, more acceptable or more uh, common practice when someone has to do, you know, writing, preparing really stuff that they want to kind of be in their bubble. Uh, hey, working from home, obviously we have the technology to do it. You know, we're thousands of miles apart and uh, and able to be uh, able to be quite productive. But uh, I do see us getting back into the uh, into the office eventually. All right. Well, Mark, thanks ever so much, and uh, stay safe, and we'll catch you again very soon. Philem, thank you very much. I appreciate the time and appreciate the chat. Thank you.